Hello and welcome to today's stream. We're trying this once again. You may notice, just a little bit, that I am quite stiff. That is because the issues that were happening last time technically have not been fixed. Uh, what I've done instead is eliminate everything that I could that would to help with the issue. Uh, it is super annoying. And so, what's more annoying is I know what the issue is. I uh, just can't really fix it at this point. Uh, because it was an update to uh, my computer that screwed everything up. Uh, as many people have- I've- online, many people have been complaining about the specific update for the, these reasons here. And so, though, hopefully, it will be good next week. But yes, so, I'm going to apologize if it is a little, still, iffy, because of that, because my stream health still says poor, I immediately went there, we're just going to hope it's fine, but it is the last stream I'm going to end up doing before, like, of the month, uh, as the next time I stream is the first, and so I'm going to do the Halloween stuff. Hello, hello. So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna go. There, for a second I thought my camera wasn't gonna appear. Hello. So we're gonna hope it's good enough. So I'm gonna start with nice pumpkin. Oh wow, I realize my mic is a little in the way. We're gonna just deal with it. So, so I'm gonna be painting these. I. One second, sorry, I was throwing my headphones out of the way. I was gonna listen to the music while we were going on, and then I realized they were too in the way, uh, because my computer's a little far away from me. And so, yes. So we're going to see how well this works. We're gonna be painting. Oh my god, I'm hitting my mic. I apologize for that. Is there any way I can get the- one second, let me see if I can fix my cord real quick. Go like this. Go like this. Oh, that messes- pulls my mic. Nope. Let me- I'm going to mute real quick so I can fix my mic. Okay, I should be back, hopefully. Oh, thanks. I, I've i not actually painted my nails in such a long time. And so, uh, I did it this week. They're a little um, something. You can see just a little bit. In The tips are in rough shape, but it's fine. But yeah, so we're going to- wow, that bent more than I thought that was going to. Can you see? I don't remember where the edge of my canvas is. Where is it? Like there. You can kind of see it. Oh, I'm slightly blocking 
the thing. You know what? I'm going to... What side should I be on? I think I'm going to be on... The other side. Let me move me over to the other side. Oh, wow. Okay, let me... Okay, now I'm on the other side. So you can see my palette. Here's my palette. It is a little stained, but it's fine. You know, I went to go start like grabbing paints to show what we're gonna be doing and I don't have my paints right next to me. They're over to the side. So, we're gonna be painting pumpkin. Wow, you know what? One second. It is very silent for me without background music. Can I get my headphones not to be in my way if I go like this, maybe? Nope. Shit. You gonna listen to me mess with my headphones? Because... Nope, not working that way. Let's see. <laughs> We're gonna just go like this and hope that my headphones don't get too in the way. So, <laughs> and I do apologize if you hear noises. I, I keep hitting the cord on my mic, and so I don't know if that's going to pick up as it moves my mic around. Can you actually see the light? I actually, no, you can't actually see the light. So, we're going to be painting. I have paints here. Nice old uh, apple barrel paints. These are great, fantastic paints uh, because they're like a buck. Are they even a buck? They may be less than a buck. And they're fantastic paints. I've always used them. Because what other colors are we going to need for this? I'm going to need... Nope, not that color. This color? Yeah, brown. I really need to mark where my edge of my canvas is. Because I don't know... Let's see, if I put this... There's the edge of my canvas. So if I go like this, you can slightly see the paints. Okay. That one will go... Black as well. Then... I think for the pumpkin, I think we're good for those colors. So we'll leave those colors. And so... I should also mention that I also have a second palette. I go like this. In case we run out of room on the first one. Wow, that bounced. So I moved it over. Uh, I went to set it back and it bounced and it almost got out of my reach. And so... <laughs> I think we'll start by painting. You know what, actually? We're gonna start by with my pencil. Because I think what I wanna do is I want uh, these. I realize there is a, you know what? There's a tag on the bottom of all of these. Can I get this off real quick? Or like a sticker? Wait, maybe? Yes, I can. Okay, I got the sticker off of this one. So now I don't have to worry about the sticker showing. Now I need to just throw the sticker off to the side. One second. There. Okay. What we're going to do is I want, I think, the stem to be uh, the brown. We go, I think, go like this almost. Let's see. Sketch with the pencil because we'll be able to have it, like, cover it up. See, so here's my line. And we'll paint all of that orange and then this brown. And so I'll just kind of take this and I'm going to hold it so I don't just end up snapping it at all. Ooh, that is smearing a little bit more than I would like it to. I just hit my face on the, the mic and... I don't know if you could hear that. That was, um... Something that kind of hurt. <laughs> that was also really funny. Oh my goodness. So, if you're gonna tell, this right here is a piece of paper that I have sitting down. Here. It covers my desk. My desk is... It's black. It's a little shiny. It just... It's not, like, reflective. I think I've explained this before, but... It just doesn't look the greatest on camera. And I think takes a little bit away. So I use this paper, right? And so, I, instead of oh, how I normally do it, is I normally have it long ways, like this. But I have too many, uh, things... Uh, at the moment from the last time I did this to get it to go long way. So I have it vertically instead. The horizontal is what I mean. Normally it's horizontal. I have it vertically this time. Well, 
I have something on the end over here that's uh, setting it down. And over on this end, I had a binder clip. I had a binder clip that was holding it. If you heard a noise, that was the binder clip popping off of my desk. And <laughs> it hit me in the eyebrow. It like fully hit me in the face. <laughs> and there's, where is it? Oh, it's all the way on my bed. Um, that was funny. That was quite amazing. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. And I just hit my desk. Okay. And so we're going to now get back into this. I'm going to grab a different eraser. I'm going to hold it. I think I'm a little too far. You know, I moved me over. But I don't think... You know what? I realize why I'm over on that side. I'm not centered with my, my stuff. There. Now I'm centered with my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, right, should hopefully now be centered with my stuff. I said that like 12 times. I apologize. So, now I'm going to try to erase some of this just a little bit. Yeah, see, that didn't smear like uh, trying to use it with the pencil. Uh, it did. So, we'll start with, I think, painting the orange is, I think, what we'll start with. Uh, yeah, because it'll be, I think, easier go over with the brown afterwards and so we will start and i think i'll make this uh well maybe go like black or something maybe we'll go with a fancy color like i have some greens we can go like like very like wicked lime green what is this called this is literally oh it's literally called lime tree so lime green because so i have a normal green as well don't i or like normal green if we wanted to Oh, well, I'm knocking all my paints over. Please stand up. Please stay standing. There. And so, that is what we're going to start with. Let me pick up my paints. Okay. A lot of these paints are actually brand new as I uh, went and got... I think this one... Has this one been used? This one has been used. It was used a little bit. But a lot of these are, like, brand new because I needed to refill on... Uh, 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 wow, my brain's up. Colors I didn't have. As I had run out of some of the primaries. And, uh, I hate mixing, uh, secondary colors, so I got me all secondary colors, too. We will turn it like this, actually, so you can see the orange. Go like this. Can you see the orange now? You can indeed see the orange. And we'll start with... I have a very large brush. It would probably be easier, but we're going to go with a little bit smaller. See, it's just a little bit smaller. And so. Because the other one's just a little too hard to control. And. Yeah, we'll start with. We'll go like this and we'll just start painting. We, I may. Uh, we may go through this here and with, maybe with a black. Or something. Or maybe we'll go full, like, uh, like yellow or something. We'll see. And I'll end up painting the other side too, but I, we may, we'll only end up detailing one side. Because you're only going to see one side. The other side will paint just so it's not wood on the other, the, the back side. Oh, this paint is covering. Uh, the wood. I'm used to having to do multiple layers on, like, paper. Or, like, canvas. Uh, this is, this is acrylic. This is, what is this? A matte acrylic. Yeah. I don't have the patience for oil. And watercolor wouldn't work on wood. Well, kind of. You can technically get watercolor to work on wood. It just isn't the greatest. But it does have a neat effect. And so, refilling my orange, and we're gonna start again. Go. Because this layer, we're not going for cleanness, I guess. We're just trying to get it. You know what? I'm actually gonna have my palette up here. Oh, we got paint on here. Wasn't trying to get paint on here. I have a napkin, but it's fine. 
I can always replace this if it gets too messy. It's literally just paper. And so. But yeah, so this layer is not going for a super clean and all that. It's not even just details. It's just literally. Um. Um. Just a flat color. I don't know how I want to, if I'm going to detail it or if we'll keep it. This, because I have a few of these. I guess I could show off the other ones we'll, uh, we have as well. I mean, we'll get up to the, the top because that's when I'll need to be a little more careful. Because I'd like not to cover up the sketch I did. I like to keep it to it enough. Like that. And then I'll need more paint. Go like this and just put more paint. And we'll I'll use the corner of it and we'll go like this slightly, like and follow just a little bit like that. We just need it there. That works. That's good enough. We'll have to go over it a little bit because uh it doesn't fully cover pencil. It doesn't like to cover pencil, I should say. But that was a super thin coat, and so I think we're fine. You also... It also is fine. <laughs> yep. Great thing about this is that it's already... It's dry enough. It's a little wet still. But we're gonna kind of leave it be just because I don't feel like going and grabbing, like, a hairdryer. Because that would also be a noise disaster. Like, it would... No. It would not be fun to listen to. Unless I was to, like, mute while doing it. But that's not fun. So. The orange is sideways. But. Here's the start of our orange. I think we'll do I think the edges now. Should I probably maybe grab a smaller one to do the edges? Probably. Am I going to? No. The orange, the, the, the oranges, the edges are, you can tell these were like laser cut. We're not going to get them perfectly orange. I just want them to not be the, like, just have the lightest hint of orange, I guess. What we're going for. Like that. See, can you really tell the difference? Can you, let's see, if I go like maybe angle it some, can you tell the difference? Like that side versus this side. Let's actually... Eh, just a little bit. I'm gonna do the other side just so if you can tell the difference, it, uh, if someone can, it's not, like, super obvious in their face that it was done that way, but, you know, maybe we won't do this for the other ones, but, go. Um, let's see. There we go. There's one side. Let's bring that in because it's pulling on the edges. Let's get what's pulling on the edges. Okay. Now we'll do the other side. So this will be the back side. And this one doesn't need to be super good. Not going to have it even be perfect over here either. Uh, because, like I've said before, back side. And I keep accidentally hitting the mic with my face, like bumping it. So I'm sorry if you can hear those. I keep leaning forward some. You know what I'm gonna do real quick? I moved me off to the other side, but I'm too far off to the side. I'm like not centered enough to have me on this side. So I'm gonna move me back. There. It's that just a little bit there. Because I'm off to this side too much to have me blocking so much of the screen. So. Oh yeah, and this paper's gonna get paint all over it. I've... <laughs> That's just what's gonna happen. That was maybe too much paint, well, but we'll see. Wood does soak up the paint, so you'll need you need a little bit more than when you're like on canvas or something. And after I finish this, I'll show the like 
the side. I will show the other ones we have. Because I guess I, I forgot to do that in the beginning. And so, I mean, just this can dry just a tiny bit. You can tell that this is the back side based on the wood block. Bumping isn't coming through. I'm glad. Because it's going to continue happening. I'm going to keep hitting my mic unless I manage to move it more. But I don't think that's going to happen. As I'm saying that, I bump it once again. And so... Yep, and we're almost done with this side. Let's... I think using the smaller brush versus the bigger one is better, because it has a lot of these spots here. I feel like it would have been a little more difficult with the uh, bigger one. Because covering more surface doesn't technically mean it will go faster if it is uh, if you're having to go slower because it is so much bigger. Okay. That is good. So, oh, it doesn't... Hmm. Is that going to bother me that you can see the wood right here? Probably. Let's see. Got that there. And who knows if I end up covering this at all. See, can I see the wood on this side still? Go like that. Because who knows? If I end up painting this, then all of that may end up getting covered anyways. But you know. And so what I think we're going to do is I think we will end up painting the inside black. Just because I know black will cover this up versus the orange on the top. Because the parts are kind of black already. And so, that'll be, I'm going to set this over here. You can kind of see it a little bit. Paintbrush. And I'll show off the other ones we have. Why we let it, uh, so we have this ghost. You go hold it down just a little bit. Then we have a nice old ghost. This one also has a sticker on it that I'm going to remove. Okay, I've removed that sticker. So we have a ghost. We have this house. Then that. There. Kind of in frame. Let me go down more. There, so we have this house. What I may do, depending on how long it takes us to get through painting these. So I may get paper or something and try to put stuff here so we can do things with it. If not, I will probably end up, maybe do that off stream then. And I will uh, post about it on uh, Twitter. Maybe I'll make a short about it. Like, show off the finished things. And all that. I'm trying to get the sticker off of this one, and it's... This one's not coming off. We have one more. I mean, I'm gonna try one more little bit. See? Oh, nope. Let's see. It's, it's a little bit more of the sticker that's coming off. And I get it to go like this. Nope. Didn't get all the sticker to come off. <sighs> that's fine, I guess. We'll leave it be how it is. And then I will grab the last one, which is a skull and crossbones. Doo -doo -doo. I realize it doesn't have um, mouth things. I just put that together. It doesn't have that. Let me get the sticker off this one. That one came off super easy. Only the house gave me difficulties. So we'll have to maybe add some mouth bits to it. And so, so here's this. Yeah, I don't think this needs another coat on it. Oh, it's still, <laughs> there's still like, there, oh, there is definitely globs of paint over on the edge now. I mean, just kind of go like this. The brush, that's not how you use a paintbrush, but it is now. Wipe my hand off. And so, I think we'll go next is just paint the the stem. Let me shake up the brown and put the brown here. 
that and we will grab a new brush. Um, this brush works. Using a nice, it's a slightly angled. See, can I get it on? Can you really see if I go like this maybe? Eh, not really. It's very slightly angled. So, it's like, can I hold it in a place where I'm not going to get paint on myself? I'm going to get paint on myself. Screw it. Um, I actually kind of like if it's a little thinner because you can actually still see the wood grain in it. So, this. We go this. Keep it consistent enough. Now, if I keep it all in one direction, the brush strokes kind of go with the, uh, the wood grain. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Maybe I should put it more centered. Like that. Okay, now we'll do the other side. And so, the one thing about uh, me not having face tracking at the moment is that you cannot tell at all that my uh, my computer where I'm seeing my preview screen is fully next to me, like sideways next to me. And so just constantly looking over in that direction. It's angled and I'm using it the other way. Oh my. Angle brushes are really good. But they're also really annoying when you're not using them for what an angle brush is meant for. There. Now we have a nice little womkin. There we go. I'm trying to think. I was going to do more detail on it, right? And all of that. Other than we'll have to paint the insides black. But like, I kind of like the, the plain orange. It's like, it's simple and cute. You know, I think we'll, I kind of like it. I think we may keep with it. And just come, or you know what I should, uh, instead of just leaving my brushes like this, I should stick them in my, my water cup and clean them off. I have a small mason jar over here that I use as a paint cup. So, let me clean it off, or do it as best I can. Oh, that glass sound it would be annoying. And then, over here on to the napkin. A little bit, there. I have it off to the side, but there's my thing to dry off my stuff. And we'll let me clean off the brown one as well. And just go like this. There, okay. Just leave them over there. So we're gonna go with black next. And we'll do we're gonna I think I I'm gonna do the base in black. Just because just because. <laughs> Me. There's black. And then I want... I want a thinner... paintbrush. Let's go with... Let's go with this paintbrush. This paintbrush... Can you see? It is clean. Yes, it is a forbidden kool-aid cup but yeah so this paintbrush is clean it just is stained the thing about white bristles we will start with i'm gonna start with the no i'm not gonna start with the backside. i said i was gonna start with the backside, but not all of it's dry you know what i'm gonna take the the napkin a little bit can you fully see what i'm doing and i'm gonna kind of do this with some of the glob to paint just so there, because some of the paint was globby or in things. And we're going to start with the side. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to get a bigger paintbrush after this. I'm not doing the whole thing like this, but I'm going to use this paintbrush to get real up close. I'm going to go like this. I want to get the paint off just a little bit. I'm going to have it more on frame. And... 
Try to get real close. You know what? I don't like this paintbrush for this. I'm going to get a different one. This isn't the right one. Okay, let me clean off the black on this. Put it over here. Okay, do I have a different paintbrush that would work? Let's use you. You seem a little flatter. We'll use this one. And then we'll get right up on this. Yep, look at that. That looks, that's so much better. Getting up close is going to take a little bit. I don't want to get it on the actual... Um, pumpkin. So, blob off like that. Just slowly take it over the side. Make sure I'm fully on camera, not going off. There's that. I want to get underneath. You know what? I'm going to need to hold this. Let's see, I don't know how well this. No, it doesn't really look that great on camera but I need to get underneath right here and so there and I'll need to do it on the other side when we get over there but now I need to see there nice line I find it easier to go down I tried st I started going up and I was like I don't think I have as much control over that down. There's that. And then I want this side. Need to, I'll need to hold it once again. I got I got brown on me. I don't want to accidentally get brown on the orange. There. My finger is clean enough now. So let me get some of the paint off. This. Oh, there's still wet orange over on the other side. Dang it. Wait, let's see. Can I fix it? I don't know how well you can see me trying to fix it because of the things in the way, but there. Okay. Sorry, I needed to fix the orange. Okay. Um, we got the good side uh, with the line intact, and so I'm not using that. I'll use the the paintbrush I was just using for brown to uh, do this, because this will go so much quicker like this. Um, this, if this was any darker of a wood, uh, trying to dry brush the black would probably look cool, but because the wood's so light. Um, let's hold it this way so I can... Sure, I don't accidentally get it on the orange by doing going too crazy about it. Edge one. Can you see the edge? Yep, that looks about like you can enough. Edge number two. We'll go. Yeah, I've already got enough paint on it. Edge three. Pull the black that's pulling on the edges in. Let me pull them in. Right. Bring that a little bit. There. So, let me go like this. This is how. If I go any too far down, you can probably see the stuff on the other side, but there is a little pumpkin. what I technically could do? Maybe we won't, we won't use it on this one. Maybe we'll use it on the, the house. But I realize... I have... I have a paint pen. A white paint pen. Where is the... There. And so, I think you can hear this when I shake it on the... Yeah, you can. So... I have a white paint pen. 
that we can use. Because I thought we could do little spider webs. Well, we won't do it on this. We'll do it on, uh... And let's see. Um, so technically the back is unfinished. But, you know... This is the part you see. And I'm gonna go to the next one because I want to be able to get through majority of them. And this is not gonna be any different than this side. And so I'm gonna set it up here, out of the way. And we will start on the the house, I think. It's like, should we do the house or the, the ghost? Because I, I don't fully have an idea for this. Should I start by... Should I make a dark brown? Let's see, where should I throw my, my paintbrushes? I'm gonna throw them out of the way. I go like this. Let's turn my palette even more. See more. If I go like... Oh wait, I should clean my, my brushes off so the paints don't harden on them real quick. I always end up doing that, is I always end up switching colors or things and forgetting... Like, like if I'm using black, I'm not gonna use that same paintbrush to go into a light color. And so, I'll end up just setting it off to the side where I'm switching sizes of brush, and I for always forget to just at least get a cursory, like, wash of the paint off. Now, let's go- we're gonna go- let's see how this color looks. We're gonna go like this. Get as much of that off, and then I'm gonna just take a tiny bit of the black, because the black will- let's bring this up, can you- like that? And let's see how that ends up looking. Let's grab just a bit more. We're gonna end up needing to make more of this. I realize if we're gonna paint the house, I'm just gonna start doing this. House in Luigi's mansion. You know what? That's a good idea. Let me let me look that up. Like the hotel. Let's see. Or just is it, let's go. Uh, uh, Luigi's. Mansion. House. Or we could do the actual house from the... From Luigi's Mansion. This one. Like, we won't... We can make it inspired by it, I should say. That one's more... Grayish, actually. I just put all the brown in there and we're not going to use it, I don't think. It's fine, I'll end up painting other things. Uh, we're going to go... I think we'll go with that with this. Let me... Add... Some... Black. Let's grab... The... My white. My white, yep. The white, and then let me look at the colors of the... What is it? It calls it, what, a palace or something is what they're calling it. It, it almost has... Parts of it almost have a blue tinge. And parts of it almost have a green tinge. You know, you want to know what I want to decide? Is I, I think I want to sketch out first how these roofs will go. Because if this is the roof... Let me... Let me grab out my ruler. This may not be on camera because I want to be able to hold it close to me to get the it straight. Let me go like this. Like I'm holding it up to my face. We'll go there. There's line number one. Go line. Oh shit. My eraser. Get rid of the bat that to the best of our ability, okay? There, so we have these lines for the the roof. I think I want to do I want to extend them up? Because now the thing is, is thinking of how to do this. Of course, this is a window, and so I think we'll want... This is obviously the side of the roof, so we'll kind of want it to come up. You know what if... 
Those lines can be fine. Those lines can be straight, but this technically doesn't fully need to. At least just to get the general idea. Just kind of, kind of got to be enough for me to get a general idea. So if there's our roof. The house for Luigi's Mansions kind of curves a little. So it kind of goes like, has a lot of curves in its roof. So if I kind of go like this, I curve it up like that. We can go like this and we can then curve it this way to mimic what the thing has. Because we can't get rid of the points, but we can make the stuff inside of all of it curvy. So if I take it this way then, I can curve this this way. And let's go like that and bring it up. Like that. See, it has almost like a non perfect. Doesn't gotta be perfect. It just that. This one's not actually as curvy as the other side. Let me make it, bring it out just a little bit. And bring it straight up into this curve. There. See? Um. And what I think actually, where did I throw the eraser to? I accidentally put it away. I did accidentally put it away. I think this is actually right here too curved out. I don't want it to be as curved out as that. I kind of want it to barely see. Yeah, just a little bit like that. Just barely comes out. Enough to give that illusion of a curve. I should hold it the other way so you can see it. Just barely so you can see the, the illusion of it. That's already kind of looking like it. I'm realizing that here is some the paintbrush falling and all that. Um, so like that. Get all that out of the way. And so there's that side. Then, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else fancy? I have to do the top roofs. The top roofs because the window. Oh no, this window goes up into it. Yes, this window does. We'll do. We'll copy the same kind of roof. This one technically doesn't, so we don't have to, because there is a uh, pointed roof on it on the top, but it curves more in and. I don't think we'll be able to get it to give the same vibe. So I think we'll do the exact same thing. We'll kind of go just a small curve in. Small curve in. These need to be smaller. This one definitely. It needs to be way smaller than that. I'm not getting it to erase. There. One just a tiny, tiny curve in like that. And then that needs to be small as well. I mean, like this. There's our curve on the top there. Maybe curve that one out just a tiny bit more. Like that. Maybe it's too close on this side. You know, looking at it from a thing, it looks like... Looks like this was not... This one's thicker than this side, so we'll make it we'll make it curve out just a tiny bit more. So let's now erase more just to make it clean so I can get, keep my lines all clean. So Okay, so that line is clean. Or I shouldn't say clean, because they're not clean, they're still sketchy. They're uh, readable, that's what I'm wanting. Wanting them to still be readable. And I'm realizing I have paint now all over my fingers as well. Uh, and so this next one. Because there is, what I was saying is that there is a... Uh, uh, roof on the, the Luigi's Mansion. Uh, that was like this. And it kind of came like this almost. But the roofs were, were very like... It was very like curved in and then pointed. I don't think we'll be able to achieve... Make that look the same with this one. So we're going to do the same thing. And this one actually is... 
Nuff, is that? No, I was like, is that? I was thinking, is this actually center? It's not center. Neither, none of them are center. We'll just curve this in once again. Start to curve it that way. And so we'll then take this one, curve it. Bring it up. Now, bring. Sure, how does that look? That one again. I think I want this one to. There, I, I like that new line better. I should have raised the other one before I started doing it. But you know. There. Look at that. So, bring it further up like that. So, and I'm thinking, yeah. There's that. Okay, what other details can we add? Let's see. Hmm. Because it does have things on the side here. Uh, I can't remember the name of what they're called at the moment. What those things are called. I've played enough Sims. You think I would know what things of a house are called? Um, Like pillars, basically. But they kind of bump out. And so, like, they're not the house itself. They're, like, something on the house. So I don't know if I want to do that. And then... Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think. And then... Technically a brick texture. I wonder if I was to draw the brick texture with my pencil underneath it. If, uh, and then I had a light layer of paint, if it would go come through. Thing is, this is kind of a dark thing, and so I don't know if it will work. But, you know what, I'm gonna do it, because what is it gonna do? Cover it up and I will have to figure something else out. And so, I still have my ruler out. We're gonna go... Here's my ruler. We'll start. Um, I want these to be even actually. So we're gonna go. We're gonna start in the center. Start like this. And we'll this. And I want because I want them to still be a little wonky, so they don't have to be perfect. I just don't want them to be like super big one and then like super tiny one and so we'll go just a centimeter for each of them and then it's just there so there's our little guide marks like that can you can you see the guide marks really what if i get closer can you see guide marks just a little bit. I want them to just ever so slightly. Like think I'm not gonna try to make them smooth or at a correct angle. We're just gonna kind of go like this. There. I don't think I'll use a ruler for the other lines because these are small enough that I don't think it is. The ruler here is just to help me through these windows and all of that. Go. Here. There's this line. I can't get that one, so we'll start going up before I switch to the other side of the ruler. Go there. Then I can always darken up these lines if I think it is needed. So see, there's the start of the the bricks. Or we could just leave it like this and be good with it. But I think I'm going to continue with the bricks. And so we'll go like, bring it this way. Wait, how do I hold it? I'll hold it like 
Maybe I'll switch hands for my pencil. Bring the lead out just a little bit more and we'll... Oh shit. I had my thumb too. Hmm. That line looks like ass. Let's go like this. And then go like that. Go here and hope that it's a little better. And then this is the last line. Can you tell that I am right-handed based on how I'm holding this pencil with my other hand? There's the start of that. Let me throw my ruler off to the side now. So there are those. And then... Because if you look at the ones on the picture, they are... They look... They pretty much look... They're, Quite uniform in size. You know what, though? Maybe we will leave it like this. Maybe I'll give little. Because I don't actually see... Maybe it's not bricks, it's just siding. Because I actually don't see lines for the, the bricks. Like, for bricks. So maybe we will leave it like this. Here. Maybe I'll darken a few of it. Make it a little rougher. So they're not super like, if I go like this. Then it gives it its... A unique quality to it. Make them just a little sketchy. Because I may just leave all the sketch lines underneath it. Because... They will give an outline if they show through. And if not, if they don't show through, well, then we're good. Like this. That. I feel like I should try maybe to do something here, but I don't know. Because I feel like... Maybe not, because I think it collide will end up colliding with the door. This one may not. But who knows. Go through. Go through. I feel like these last ones are already sketchy enough from using my left hand. It was good. Let's see. I'm already liking the way that looks. Because now the next ones are these up here. Do I want to do the same thing? I think so. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to make them smaller. I think, I'll, I think I'll change the size both ways. Like this one will be the smallest and then this one will be a different size. Like even a little bigger, but not the full centimeter. Right? Well, I'm going to start with this one to see which how I want this one to be. Because I think we'll... Hmm. Is that three or four? That is four. So we'll kind of go in between the four. So we'll half. So this is four. We'll go in half again. Right? And then it will be four here. Half. And then in the center. There. Half. There. In the center. There, fully, fully, half once again, half, there, I need to bring it down just a little bit, go like this, half, then a four, yeah, okay, see, and then this one will make even smaller, oh wait, I need to finish the lines, over here like look at this and then didn't finish the lines they're just a whole bunch of lines we're doing so much painting right now can't you tell 
But it's fine because I didn't uh, name the stream uh, uh, painting. I uh, named it just art. Because I totally, totally knew that this would how is how it's going to be. This <laughs> isn't. They had such a plan. Other than. I had a plan far past the pumpkin. And there, there's that one. That, and then we'll make these even smaller. Maybe we'll make these a full... I think I'm calling these inches. I don't mean to. It's centimeters. I, I know that. I use centimeters more than I use inches anyways for things. It's just... For whatever reason, I just keep calling it inches. Go over this way. This. And no, okay. There's those guidelines for that one. I didn't finish that line all the way to the edge of the roof. Over. Over. And then last one. Look at that. If I go a little closer. These ones are light still. I need to go over them. These are much darker. I don't know why these ones are sitting. Are they just pressing down more? Who knows? Now we'll make them sketchy. Like I did with the other ones. Just to make them darker. That. That. Let's go. I kind of want these to be more sketchy too, but they're already quite dark. So. Kind of. Add. Extra sketch. Like that. Okay. Is that? Go down a little so you can see the full... Okay. This. Get my hand out of the way. Maybe hold it. Right. There we go. Throw my pencil off to the side. Now. Oh, I'm like sticking it. Eh, it's fine. Again, we're going to do a thing where uh, the back is not going to be detailed. Because. That is too much. You know? Just too much. Um. <laughs> but now. I have to figure out. We're gonna do this. It's like, like a gray, like blue. It's a very strange color. Like to try to think of how to make it. it almost makes me wish I had a uh, sponge brushes, like foam brushes. Do I have foam brushes? I don't think I have them anymore. Foam brushes don't last for at least n not the ones I would get, which are the bulk cheap ones. Um, because I mainly use them for like Mod Podge and things like that. And so, and so, I'm trying to think of what color we're gonna need. Um, uh, again, I didn't clean that one off, even though I got paint on it. I like this, make it all that off clean like this and then I'm gonna bring it in like this because I have I have this blue it is not a very dark blue let's see so we'll put just a bit in here you know what I wish I grab toothpicks. Toothpicks might help. 
But maybe we're lurking in such a large quantity of paint. You know what? I I had to refill this like 12 times to do this. I'm going to make more than I think I'm going to need. And so. No, we're working in such large quantities. I think it's going to be fine. But I may. I may. Use an end of a paintbrush. To stir. I want some black in it. So we're going to go like that. My paints are a mess. I guess I should mention that. Not very clean. But I guess you could probably tell just a little bit based on certain other things. Let's mix that together. That just disappeared. That was not enough. I'm always scared to add too much black. But in turn, I almost never add enough black. See, because that may end up being too much black. Let's see. Actually, no, maybe not. see you know what actually see, let me go like this try not to accidentally put my phone on camera oh you actually can't see what i'm mixing i'm too far down that's actually not bad I think we'll go with that, actually, because I don't think I'm going to get much better than that. You know? Maybe, let's see, let's go like this. It may be a little dark. But I know if I try to lighten it, I'm going to ruin what I have here. So, yeah, we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to keep this like this. Yeah, um, I'm just going to set this into the water. We'll leave it like that. <laughs> and so, now the only thing is I hope... I think the roof is more green. Yes, the roof is definitely more green and gray. And I wonder if you added a gray instead of a pure black if it would have been a better color. But I don't have a gray. That's something. Is I should just get a, like, a true, like, 50 gray. Or... It's, they're not called 50. It's not called 50 gray. A, like, neutral gray. And in, the proper in-between 50-50 of black and white. But I end up calling it 50 gray sometimes. Because that would... Is it... Would that be what it is? is it, would it be the saturation of black, basically? Okay. Right. We're not into that right now. We are going to... Use... A brush. Of course we are. Um, I want to use this brush again. I think we will. Let me just make sure I have all... Of... We're going to use the brush we use for the brown. Alright. And we're going to see if it works. Because I'm slightly scared that it m may not. Let's see. You know what, actually? I want to do this. We're going to go on the back side real quick. We're going to go like this. I take this and we're just going to go like this. Look at that. You know what? Am I about to? Am I really about to? I think it's too dark. Dang it, I'm going to. Why am I like this? I'm going to. Let me clean this off. Okay, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to set that over there. I'm going to bring this just up just a little bit. And I'm going to add the smallest bit of white. Okay, we're going to start with that. Need to try this off. I put the end of it into water. Okay. Start by mixing that in. White also goes a really long way. Oh, look at that. Can't you see already the color difference? Just a little bit. If it go like this and go do 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 you can actually see the color difference just a little bit. I can see the color difference instantly. 
Is that closer? I'm already screwing with it, so I'm gonna try to get it closer. Um. Uh. I'm gonna just add. Drop more white. And now we're gonna mix it in. <laughs> Can't go back. Does that change the color much? No, not really. But I'm not gonna change it anymore. Because it's lighter. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna put it on the back and we're gonna test and see how this this goes. This. I go like this. I'm realizing. You know what I'm realizing? It's gotten darker, hasn't it? Like my lighting. That is because I'm in front of my window. And so I'm using that as my lighting. I realize there's probably that lighting is probably lessened. It is indeed lighter. Do you want to know something real quick? You know what I'm let's set that right there. It is indeed. And so I'm Realize you wouldn't have been able to. I said I was grabbing a lamp, uh, because it, it got, it indeed got lighter, like not. I mean, not lighter. It got uh darker. We're gonna see how well this lamp works for our current lighting situation. Let's see. Okay, so the light, the lamp is now plugged in. It's not turned on yet. They don't truly know where I'm going to set it. Let's see. I move these things out of the way. Be able to set it right here. Like this. Yes? Now if I shine it up, will it brighten everything? Not much. What if I... Because... See, that's now really bright. This is a white light. Um, let's see. Hmm. If I point it, go like this and point it like this. Maybe. It's a little brighter. I don't know how much that's helping, but... It's not hurting by the looks of it, and so we're gonna keep it this way. Because it's not hurting. I'm gonna put my earbuds back in because it's too quiet without the music going on. Okay. So, here's where we're at. It's this one here. I'm thinking. Thinking it needs to go a smidge lighter. Oh no. I'm not gonna rinse the, the thing off. Let's go. Oh no, that may be too much white. Uh, we'll see. Oh wait, nope, I don't use this. I use this right here. Now let's mix it all together. Is this lighter at all? Let me get the globs off here. Oops. Hit it, let's see, let's go like this then. Having it sit next to it. It doesn't, It. it's becoming more lighter altogether than it is when it's on the wood itself. So. 
So it's becoming difficult to judge based on how it looks in here. But that got much lighter. That right there looks way too light now. But we're going to see. We're going to hope and we're going to see. I'm going to kind of just set that right there. And grab this. And see. We're going to... There's that. But you know what, actually? That actually kind of looks right. You know? That's what we're going to go with. That one actually looks right. So we're going to go with that. Of course, the one that I was worried that it's uh, going to end up being too light was the one that looked correct. And now the scary part. We actually have to take this and put it on. This is where we'll see if me doing these lines meant anything. So, we're gonna start. We're gonna... They... Did not. Which is fine. Because that, I'll just add them in afterwards. And I could probably use color pencil. Something like that. That's fine. Actually, using color pencil would work, actually, because, like, I could try to use paint for some of it. Let's bring it down like this. I'm a little getting too far off screen. And so, like that. How sad that we're covering up all those lines, but it's just how art goes sometimes. It's fine because I didn't truly know how I would be decorating the, the things afterwards. It was just kind of so I would have pre-done lines. But once this is uh, all uh, uh, painted, different. Next color thing is we'll have to uh, make the roof color, which is like a greeny color. Let's go like this. Paint up. I'm still, again, I'm getting too far off to the side and too far down. Realizing I need the camera more this way next time. Because I keep migrating more towards myself. Okay. There's that. Is I'm using the angle brush, and so I'll be able to get around the roof lines, which is fine. So I, I'm not losing the roof lines. This is the difference between the orange and a uh, really dark color like blue and black. Well, maybe not the blue I used, the original blue, but definitely black. Oh shit! I started going this way, and I need to get. I'm gonna get paint all all on my hands. It's fine. Let's use the corner like this. Go slow. Like that. Put a little bit more paint on the paintbrush. And we're gonna go slow once again like this. Clean that up like that. We'll try it one more time. Let's see, can I get it to go up? Or is it gonna... Oh no, I'm getting it to... Boom, fine, going up. Now I want to try to go down. I have enough paint on my brush to go down. I'll see. Let's see if I have enough paint on my brush. I do not have enough paint on my brush to go down. There. There's that side of the roof. Let's make it 
There we go. You can actually kind of still see the wood through parts of it. And I think I'll keep it like that, other than, like, maybe some of these parts here where it's a little too obvious. Get those globs of paint. Now, I'm going to turn it this way. I'm still on... Still on camera, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> the paint all on me. I'm going to get it on more of my hand now. But it's fine. Let's go. That. Let's go. That's nice and slow. Probably going to go a little silent some of the time. We're trying to do these lines. Can I? No, I'm not going to get it to be smooth like that. And then let's refix here. Like that. Look at that. Okay. That. Now we need this part of the roof. Let's go. There we go. I realized I have no idea if that was on grammar. I hope it was. There it is. Both sides of the roof now. So I can see some of the strokes here. I kind of want to blend those in just a little bit more than they already are. But there. There's one. Now it's time for these. These will either be more difficult or very easy. And I don't see there being an in-between. I'll be surprised if there is. First thing is this line here. Go like that to get... Get... Actually, I want it to go this way. This way, okay. Try... This one's so close to that window. That window's almost messing me up. There. Who? There's that line. My brain almost wants to do this line right now while we're doing it, but I know 100% that uh, I'm going to get paint everywhere if I do it like that. Like on my hands, I can see it smudging. And I want these lines to be smooth because the green looks a little lighter than the uh, blue for the roof. And so we're going to not do that. Oh, I wonder how I'm going to do this. Let's see. Can I do it like... I need to move my mic as I'm leaning a lot further over. Let's see. Let's try. Make sure. I, I'm barely on camera, but I'm good. Okay. Let's try one more. Make my way closer to that line. Go. Let's... Let's... Let's go one more time to smooth this area over here out. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so that is a little bit more difficult. I do not actually have an angle brush any smaller than this. That's something I need to get then. But yeah, we're now gonna, ooh, huh. how am I gonna do that? Okay, this may be a little annoying, but I can't actually get that curve, this top curve and all that, how this set up. And so, I'm going to quickly take it off camera so I can actually get the curve, because I need it to be at a weird angle that I can't achieve. So, I think, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, so you can just... Let's... Okay. Here it is. Okay. There it is. I got it. That side is now done. Now it's this side. I'm gonna hold it, I think, this way, actually. Can I get it? Is it on camera still? It is. Okay. Because I have an easier time getting it when I'm going... My brush stroke is going down. So... Like that. And we'll go that. Oh, I should say, when you see me and I go like a really hard angle, like right angle, my brush, it's because if you try to make a smooth angle, you either try to lift up or you, uh, at least for me, try to make a smooth angle away or just lift up. There's a tendency for the line to go hmm just a little bit while it's doing that and so I just take it and I instantly move it that way until my brush is fully out of the way of the line that I'm wanting to keep looking a certain way that line is not as good as the first one but that's okay so that's it's how it goes okay now I can bring it back like this Continue to paint. Try not to paint my hand in the process, but I have both orange and blue. I still oh no, never mind. I have more blue on this hand. I have more blue on this hand, but I have a lot more orange on this hand. You know. So let's go like this. So let's now. Ooh, this is the things in the way just a little bit. Can you... My, my hand's blocking it just a tiny bit. Can I get it where my hand's not blocking it? I don't think so. Once again. And the hard angle is just uh, for when I'm having straight lines. When I'm going with a curved line... I go basically until the line needs to curve, and if I need to take my brush away, I'll just continue that curve away. Instead of... This one I should hopefully be able to get without having to, because it's not such a small tiny... Oh my god, there's paint here. When did this paint get here? Hmm, how annoying. That, there's paint there. Don't know when that happened. It's fine. I'll put like white on it or something to lighten it. We'll use the back as a test. There, yeah. See, so I got that one without needing a weird angle. It's much bigger. An easier curve than this very tight one here. That's kind of annoying. I don't know when that happened. There's also a little bit here as well, but... You know what? That was bound to happen. Just bound to happen. Let's fix up some of, some of the painting here, like this. And I made a lot more blue than I need. Probably because I put a lot of blue in to begin with, because I'm, I'm going to need a lot. And then I just kept adding more and more of other paints. And of course, the orange would need more because it's a lighter color than the dark blue that doesn't take as much to uh cover i want to pick some of this as well okay there's that i think the next thing is to try to make that weird green Oh, there are splatters of paint. You know what? I didn't realize how much my paint's been splattering. 
Oh wow, you, wait, you actually can't tell very much. This one has small dots of spatter, splattered paint all over it. Let's see, let me, this paintbrush here, let's clean it off. Let's see, we're almost over. My, my water will need to be changed soon, but we're almost over anyway, so we'll be fine. But let's see if I grab it like this. Like, what if I go like this? Eh, if I bring it that. Kind of, just a little bit. There's splattered paint all over it. And so, I'm gonna turn it once again. We're gonna go for green. I'm going to use this green. I'm not gonna put as much, because we don't need as much. Start. Go like that. We want the tiniest bit white. That may be too much white. And then some black. Basically doing the same thing we did with the blue, but with green. We'll leave it like that. It's like an eyeball staring. It sees you. Okay. Okay. Now let's mix it all. Yeah, see, that was, I think, too much white, maybe? Hmm. Actually, no, it's not. Like, is this a... You know what, I actually, I think I want... It's still all that blue tinge. I want to kind of add a little bit of blue to it as well. And see how that ends up looking. Let's see. Um. Or grayish. So we're going to add some more black and white. We're going to go more black. I'll mix the black in first. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to finish mixing it in. That looks like we're getting somewhere. Obviously too dark, so we need some more white. Oh, that is. Well, I said last time I said there was too much white. It ended up being the right color. Or good enough color. But I still feel like that maybe been... Yeah, that was... Well, maybe I... I mean... I'm trying to see. Hmm. You know... Let's see. Let's go like this. Well, now we're here for, uh, how do we do all this? We paint it on the back side. <laughs> take, a take a tiny bit and we're going to paint it on the back side. That's the green. Hmm. Too dark. But like, it feels like gray enough. If that makes any sense. So my assumption is that the green itself is too dark. So, I've already out of blue. So that means I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Drop of yellow. And this is why I like having secondary colors. Because if I had to mix a secondary color, it would be a pain in the butt. But if I already have a secondary color and I can just add the primary colors to fix it, it's a lot better. See, that looks more, uh, like, more of, like, an army <laughs> green. is a little better. I think it's still too dark. 
Well, maybe we're, let's do it again. Let's paint and see how it works. I did get all the, I got enough of the paint off. Okay. Take this and we'll go. There's a difference. See, it's not a big change. And which one was the blue that we ended up going with? It was this one? I think. Take it here and we're just going to go like this just a little bit. I'm going to look at those two next to each other. And you know what I think? I think I want it a little just lighter. And we're like not with yellow but with white. Okay. And try go here. I'm learning that some of these end up seeming a little darker on the wood than it does when it's wet in the palette, and so my instincts would be that's too light. But let's see. I go over here now. See that those two colors I think match together a lot better. These this one seemed still too dark. This one here. And I wouldn't and so yeah, that looks that looks right. And so now let me put that in the water. We're gonna start with I think the small ones, just because small ones a little bit easier. Or like on the outside they will be and a little bit less pressure so granted they don't have as much room so Okay, I went very silent, but there's that. I think it'll look better is that there's actually a, like a light, like a more, a light green almost border. It's like the inside of the roof that you see that I think I'll end up adding. But I want the main colors first. I may end up taking this and adding a crap ton of white twigs. That's what it looks like after I, uh, Finish painting. There's that. And let's continue. Hmm. Getting the outside of that curve was a lot easier than trying to get the inside of that curve. Look at that. Let me get a little closer so you can see the color difference a little. Realizing on camera, at least for my preview, the difference, they're close enough in tone that the difference is a little difficult. See? Especially without some sort of border. But in person, it looks nice. It has still that same issue, but it's a little difficult to see, but you know, let's go. The next one. And I think that's that border. Maybe just a little bit. Let's go like that. Oh, I was saying how I possibly could get silent with the other ones. I'm going to get silent with these. The other one is just like that. I that I know I tend to get silent sometimes when I'm trying not to mess up. And these I'm going to gonna. Am I on camera still? Let's see. Go like this. A little bit more on camera. If I end up accidentally going off camera, that's because I'm pulling it closer to myself. And I don't mean to. Let's see, I need to go like this, actually. Put it a little differently. 
Making sure not my head's not going too far down. So. Hmm. Need more paint on. There's that. Ooh, okay. I think I messed up right there. I made it a little bit more of a curve out than it was originally, but I think it's fine. There. Okay. There you go. Just take this, fix it just a tiny bit. There. Like that. I need to add the, the white. So it has more contrast, but... Looking at the time, I'm going to mention it now. We're not going to get to the other ones. Um, if sometime next month, if you want me to finish the other ones, even though it will be no longer Halloween, I can. Uh, otherwise, I'll just leave them as wood. Because the wood's not bad. But I'm not going to... I'm the same time limit as I always do. And so... I wasn't expecting to put so much uh, detail. Well, like, I shouldn't say so much detail. So much... Detail that took time. Like... Making Luigi's Mansion. I could, I could YouTube short them. Just a little video as well. You know what, I'll do that. If I have, that is if I have time after this. Uh, I should, I should be good. But if I don't, but I will at some, that's what I'll do with them. That is a fantastic idea. So. Cause I will make uh, a short of this one, the pumpkin you can't actually see. Well, like the finished products of these, uh, just afterwards, and then maybe of this one because I have a feeling we're n I'm not gonna be able to finish this, and so we'll have finished product one, and then I'll have one of the ones that we did not get to. more paint. Let's fix this line. I actually don't mind if it's not perfectly straight. Because the other one's kind of curvy. And so... Let me... Get this line. Go... More paint. Well, that is a lot of paint on my brush. I did not mean to put that much paint. There. There's that line. And. And. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh. My family's dog is at my door, probably wanting in, for whatever reason. But people are home. And so I don't know why she wants into my room right now. Especially since she doesn't normally come into my room. I should check on her. You know what? I'll do that real quick. Let me come and we'll go... They will like scre switch screens. Please switch screens. There. Okay, I'm gonna go check on her real quick just to make sure. Oh. 
Okay, she, she's fine. She was just wanting in. Uh, there. Come back, camera. There you go. She's just wanting to come in and hang out. She's all good. Of course, though, the only times that she's like, mm, I want to hang out with you in your room is when I'm in the middle of doing things. Granted, that's probably because most of the other times I'll, I'm not in my room for hours straight. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> just gonna use it as she wants to bother me and not the fact that it's technically abnormal for her. Finish up these lines. This right here is probably the hardest one we've done. That was such a big curve on the opposite direction. Okay, I see the little parts that I want to fix here. And then I want to fix there. Okay. And then here. Good enough. Okay. There is that. Because I think in next, we're going to do the paint things. And I'm going to paint the lines there. That is going to be the scariest part. That is very easy to mess up. And because I don't need... Any more of the green? You know what? I'm gonna make sure that I'm seeing parts that are a little thin on the green. I'm gonna just go through and I'm gonna oh I like set them right on that. I'm gonna quickly just like this. Make sure that's not super thin. There. I'm gonna try them just a little bit and like shake it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the scary part. Is that that right there? I'm going to just add a bunch of white. Let me, let me open my phone so I can see my picture of Luigi's Mansion. Okay. Yeah, but it's not super white and maybe a little bit more gray we'll see we'll see once i start adding some white into this how much more gray it needs to be where is this there it is okay I'm grab my the back of the brush i've been using to mix go like this Ooh, that was Definitely a lot. And yes, I, it needs to be more dark. I may need to add just a smidge more green. We'll see. I just drop. Just want a singular drop. Drop into the paint. There. <laughs> now let's pull that in. Oh, well, that, see... That's where I don't like black because it was too white and so it it took over completely. Look how look at the difference in that. That needs more green now. You know what I could add is I could add some of the the See, that made it too bright again. I needed, like, the yellow and the blue again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a smidge of this super bright green and see what happens. Color's already fucked up, and so adding more color is not going to do anything. I just want a smidge. Okay. That was way more than a smidge, but I guess I also didn't mix it up before I 
anything. So let's see. Super. Because this will add the yellow back that I was missing. Because look, look at that. So that made it it's the more yellow again. There's the green I was looking for. And then I want to add some more white. Just, just one more little bit like that. So once we start getting too light, it becomes very easy for it to become too close to white. Let's see. See there we're getting back into uh back into the light color. I need it to be whiter. I think that's where we're going with. Let's drop just a little bit of white. I got green all into the white. We're good. Marty a mess. See, now we'll go like this. I'm gonna actually wipe my hair off on this. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh shit. Fuck. I accidentally. Right here. Well. This is easy to fix because it's on the blue, but. How annoying. How annoying. Let me fix it real quick. I'm gonna go like this and I'm just. All fixed. Okay. Yeah, and I decided that I wanted more white. I guess it does need to be super light. I just needed it to be more gray. kind of want to be like we're getting into it the other one seemed i think more yellow so i think i do actually want to actually shake up the other green real quick before i use it i think i want to add this one into it and see how far it takes it this and Cause it's still green. Okay, I want it lighter. Look how much paint it is now in it. We started. I made sure I was like, there's so little in here. Just with mixing colors. What happens? Oh, look at that! Look at that color. Oh, you can't see it. My hand's in the way. It is a <laughs> Guiji green, but look at... Look at... Look at that color compared to the rest of them. Let me bring it over here where the other ones were. Like that. Super light and all that. I think that's... That's... I think that's where I want it. I'm gonna put that back into the water. Now we're gonna go with a hand brush. Um, something I wish is that I wish I had the really uh um, it's like this these thin ones, but like the super stubby bristles. Like the really stubby bristle ones. It's like the swatching process. Yeah, it is. Mixing colors. Uh, I find it be really fun sometimes. Sometimes it's infuriating, but that's if I don't truly know what I need to add to be getting colors. Be getting the colors I want. But. But. 
I like the uh, thing. You know what? I actually, before I fully, I want to. It was over here, I think. I'm gonna go like this. There's the. There's the color. You know what, actually? I'm like, look at that. It's like, I think it's too. It's not light enough. I'm gonna add more white. Hope we don't fuck it up here. And this one, I'm actually, I went to go get all of the paint off that instead of on the palette. Like I went to go do originally. Now, mix that. Went even lighter. Let's go like this. Um, that's not super lighter. Okay, I want to add even more white. Wow, this white is such a mess. And I just got so much white on my finger. Wipe the, it onto the napkin I have. So... I guess I do kind of have a little bit of a stubby. This one is actually more stubby than the other one, isn't it? Maybe I'll use this paintbrush instead, you know? Like that. That's more... <laughs> we are finger painting now. How it goes. Hmm. Can't see it on camera. This is the green of the house. I think it is, yeah. These are the previous greens, and this is the one I just did. I think. I don't want to go. Actually, let me take this, and I'm going to paint right here. You know what? I think that works. Not exactly the color of the other. The, co the other one's a, a weirder color. And let me now yeah. of what's dripping there. Clean off the end of this brush. Because we'll end up using it. Because it is a W or brush. Because this is almost what I'm talking about when I say stubby bristles. I almost wish it was like even shorter, like the really short stubby ones. So it's almost like you're using like a pin. But you know. Let me move these paints out of the way and get more white all over my fingers. I must really like finger painting or something. I'm getting it everywhere. Just like, just a little messy, you know? Oh wait, where I need to go this side. Just a, a little messy. It's on this side of my hand. It's on all of that. Okay. Now, the scary part. I'm going to do, uh, it's going to be me doing it well over <laughs> you guys being able to see it because this could go wrong very quickly and it scares me slightly because I'm now outlining the roof of the house and it's just, it's so nerve wracking. And I don't have this green anymore. Ha! <laughs> I don't have that green anymore if I fuck it up. Ah! It's so scary! <sighs> Here's my testing. I just... Okay, that looks fine. This is terrifying. Try. There's no going back if I fuck it up. Okay. You can't see it, I'm completely blocking it. But, 
my hand needs to be like this to be able to get it. Line number one. Whoo. So this is nerve wracking. Okay. And then we'll turn it more. Um, and there's a good thing there's music as not talking. I'm gonna go with a it's a rustic look for some of the uh, parts that don't look super great. Because, oh my goodness. Oh my god, I have to do it on the small ones too. Sorry. Uh, I'm just realizing that this is the easy one. Okay. I can always clean the parts where the, each line connects afterwards. I'm gonna turn it even more. I want to pick up that paint. Okay, so there's that. Go around these lines. It's hard not to accidentally turn my paintbrush because it's slightly flat like that. So I want the it to stay in a certain position the entire time I do. But I'm turn my paintbrushes quite a bit. Ooh, ah, that's not super great. We're gonna. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it, uh... This is when, like, doing if I had like a pen to do this with, granted. Like, we don't have one of this color. And if I would have tried to outline it with the Posca pen and then gone over that, it, I, I can tell you now, it probably would have looked ten times worse. So, okay. like this okay come back after it dries because it's kind of hard to tell what parts are light won't cut like what parts need more paint or not when parts of it is still wet because they look like two different colors because it obviously darkens as it dries now it is this part try not to accidentally touch the wet paint either There. Ah, shit! This is like. I oh, don't. No, we have an even smaller one after this. Let's see. It's a little thick, but it's fine. The thickness, I get, I don't think truly matters. It's how smooth it looks because the roof is already wonky on like thickness. Why is in general? It's just I want it to. Looks smooth. As if someone just took it and it was like one solid line. Okay, so now. Last. Last one. And we... I can still see some blue above. Okay. That's the way that one looks. Okay. There. I 
don't think it looks too bad, okay? Taking my head away from it because I was really close to it while doing it. I don't think it looks too bad. So. There's so much green for only that. I kept needing to mix it. Oh my god, it is three o'clock already. Well then. That means it's the end of stream. Let me push that back. See, is this on? Get off my finger. There, and then we'll grab. Do I have what paint on me? It doesn't look like it. And then. And more like this. Then we have our pumpkin. So. Means there will be an update. Afterwards of when this is properly finished. Let me actually hold it where it's straight enough. Because we're out of time. And so, let me... Oh god, I have paint all on me. I have to touch my stuff. There. <laughs> I want to get paint all over my stream deck. You know what? It probably would fit. Um. Yes. There... There will be some something later on, whether it is just... Whether it is an actual video, or if it's a short... Or something of these in their final form. And so that will happen. I uh, hope everyone has a wonderful Halloween as uh, I don't stream again until until after that. And so this is this is the final stream of spooky season. So <laughs> And we were painting. Yes. <laughs> so I think is there anything I want to say beforehand before I finish off? Um Nope, I think that's it. I think all good. Oh, my issues with the stream should hopefully, I, I really do hope, be, uh, should hopefully, this should be, blah, 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 blah. maybe if I speak right, uh, I'm just adding on to the list of issues apparently. No, it should be fixed, uh, by next week. I'm really hoping. So. I know, I saw that you donated to Computer Fun. Thank you so much. I, I, I was at work and I saw it and I literally was like, I'm so speechless. Thank you so much for that. Just, just makes me so happy. I can't believe it. Thank you. <laughs> that feels so weird to then end the stream after <laughs> all that. Here's your awkward transition, I guess. Um, yes, but we're out of time and need to end the stream. How do I end streams again? It's been a week, literally. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.